one three. Go so code is already loaded on eight. there. Guy clear. Temperature. No, 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 wait. Two point uh, eight. Altimeter two nine or Approach here. Yeah, then we'll switch us there. I'm sure. Approach in use. Landing in a parking lot. Oh yeah, yeah. Three, zero. Along the way. Flow control into Los Angeles, Las Vegas, San Diego, uh -huh. and Denver airports. Hazardous weather information for California. They will provide service no, 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 frequencies. Yeah, that, yep, that one. That, that completely, so these move on oh, okay. completely Thank one you. to the other, okay. and this is monitor. Okay, yeah. cool. So let's see, make sure we're at 1,000 or 1,100, go down a little bit. Okay, altitude pre-select, we're going to 6,500. Good. Okay, altitude pre-select is done. Flight instruments, we're going to turn that here. Make sure we're a little here, 2985. 2985. Line that up. Uh, fuel quantity verify. We're good on with fuel. Yeah, yeah, we'll even out in a little bit. Uh huh. Yeah, I'll be swimming around. So fuel selectors on both. Autopilot, check that. Um, let's see, go to heading. So that's the before takeoff. This is already the run up. So before takeoff is the run up. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you want to do that in the run up area. But we don't have to do a run up because we already Oh, did. we'll check the auto part then taxi to a safe area. Oh, interesting. So you check it before. Typically you check the auto part and the run up. Okay, you can do it now. We, we can move but it. we already did two run ups today, so you don't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We've already done that. So we, all, we, all that's left for us to do is the takeoff flow when we take the runway. So that's fuel selector both, cow flaps open, open. trims open. both set for takeoff, mixture prop full forward, lights, uh, flaps 10, and lights are on. That's our flow. We'll get used to the flow. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, it's all on there. Um, what about setting up the scoreboard? That's one thing he was never, I never did before. So scoreboard is, is the autopilot, so we could set it up on the ground or we could set it up in the air. Let's go in the air. Cool, whatever you want. I feel like I'm learning that this, uh, I'm get, catching on to this. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I want to keep doing it, but I think once I get more comfortable, I run over here. Uh-huh. I don't know what it is for some reason. No, use this. Yeah. This is totally fine. Okay. I like to understand you. Huh? The what? Some people can just like teach really good, you know what I mean? I appreciate it. Yeah. No, I want you to do whatever's comfortable for you. I'm not looking for you to fly the plane like I do. I want you to fly the plane the way Robbie does in the most comfortable way possible. Training is not making you me. Training is making you a better you. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Put that down. That little bump, man, that's kind of scared me a that? little bit. Yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> Man, where's Sean right now? I want to show Sean how you do, how you get this thing going. Sean needs to learn how to get a plane ready to get ready to fly. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm ready to taxi. Do we need to get a hold of ground to move from yeah. here? Yeah. So let's go ahead. What's the ATIS information? You know, I, I need to let me listen to one more time. Yeah. Take your field tower information. Quebec two two five four Zulu wind three three zero at one three gust one niner visibility eight guy clear temperature two six two point eight altimeter two niner. Okay. So we'll we'll say, uh, are we with Bakersfield ground? Let's get on Bakersfield ground. Uh, okay. Now we're right there. Good. And we'll say Bakersfield ground, station air one two one five golf over at Epic, ready to taxi with Quebec. Yeah. Okay. Bakersfield ground, station air one two one five golf at the Epic, ready to taxi uh, with information, Quebec. Station air, one, two, one, five, golf, fixed for ground, runway three, zero, right, taxi alpha. Three, three, zero, right, alpha? Three, zero, right, via alpha, one, five, golf. Good! Yeah. Station air, one, five, golf, if you don't have it already, squawk, one, three, five, three, and departure frequency will be 2645. It's all in there. So just repeat it, one, three, five, three. One three five three one two six point four five uh, one five golf. Solid. It's in there from before. Yeah. Okay. So it's switch back up, right? Uh you could just go to no no no. Stay on ground right now okay. for taxi. Oh, until we get and then the we whole switch it. We switch it. Yeah, at the runway. Okay. Robbie, you're already a hundred times better. Huh? You're already a hundred times better. Yeah. I, I I'm gonna get there, but I know you will. Your brakes on. Oh, I was like, what the fuck's going on here? So, Alpha, see that? Yep. Cool. Oh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, the flight is scout speaking. Uh, my name is Robbie. I have thousands and thousands of flight hours under my uh, belt. I started flying when I was two years old up in Alaska. My parents used to send me to the uh, grocery store to buy milk in our family airplane. <laughs> <laughs> so, so should I pull over here to uh, um, do finish up our checklist here? You could just go short of the runway. Oh. So all we need to do is just the flow. We already did two run-ups today. We don't need to do a run-up every single time. So alpha, straight. Look at the map. Alpha, over here. And then we'll make a left over here alpha. to hold short of the runway. See that? Yep. Think of this as like GPS. Yeah. Good. And then we'll make a left. and we'll hold short of the runway. How do you know if you're too close to the whole short line? You can't see if you numbers. can't see the whole line. So right here's a good place to stop. Right here, stop. There you go, this is perfect. Good, now here's our flow. I okay. want you to write down the flow. Okay. I want you to write down the flow. Okay, so write it down. Fuel selector. Fuel? Just FS, fuel selector. Both. Cal flaps, CF. Open. Trims. Two trims. Set for takeoff. Mm -hmm. And then um, prop and mixture full forward. Prop oh, mixture forward. Flaps 10 degrees. Lights on. How many items are on your flow? Six. Good. Fuel selector both, cow flaps open. Trims set, set for takeoff. Uh, uh, Fuel mixture. Um, uh, prop and mixture full oh. forward, and then flaps 10 degrees and lights on. Does that make sense? Yeah. You can put this away. Good, so I want to see you run through that flow right now. Okay, fuel selectors on both. Cow flaps are open, trims are set. Let me see, take off there, take off there, trims are set. Uh, Prop forward, mixture forward right now, all the way? Uh, leave it like this, and yeah. we'll do the same thing. We'll, we'll hold our brakes, go okay. 39 inches, and then 34 gallons an hour. Okay. And yeah. then what else? And then uh, prop mixture forward, and the lights are on. Uh-uh-uh, uh, what did we miss? Oh, flap set. Cool. And we'll visually yeah, make sure. Yeah. Degrees. Good. And then lights all on? All lights are on, yeah. Solid. Good to go. Let's switch to tower. All you need to do is press this. That's it. You see, we went from COM 2 to COM 1. Okay. And now we'll say Bakersfield Tower, Station Air 1215 Golf, short of 3 0 right, ready for takeoff, straight out departure. Okay. Bakersfield Tower, Station Air 1215 short of 3 0 right, ready for takeoff. Ready for takeoff, straight, straight out departure. Okay. Uh. <laughs> we'll kill it. You could repeat it to Second me if you want. Tower, station air, one, two, one, five, golf, short of three, zero, right, ready for departure, straight out. One, five, golf. One, two, eight, zero, one, one, gust, one, nine, or runway three, zero, right, clear for takeoff. Runway three, zero, right, clear for takeoff. Runway three, zero, right, clear to takeoff. One, two, one, five, golf. One, two, one, two, one, five, golf. Good. And then when you get, get on the runway, we'll go ahead and come to a stop. And we'll do that full power and then set our mixture, our manifold pressure. And final looks clear? Final is clear. Cool. Straight. Go ahead. Go straight. Good. Okay. And now we'll advance pressure. the power. Power all the way up. 39, right? 39 inches. And then mixture 34, go engine lean. 34 gallons an hour. There you go, you're good to go. And we'll release the brakes, we'll maintain center line. Nice job, center line.
Beautiful work. Above 75, positive rate of climb. Don't forget about your flaps. Good, and we'll maintain this heading, runway heading. Okay, pitch up. Vy. Tower, good afternoon. Citation 648 Hotel Echo with you for 30 right. Number 648 Hotel Echo, Bixel Tower, wind 2 9 or 0 1 2, gust 1 8, runway 3 0 right, clear the land. No land, 3 0 right, 8 Hotel Echo. 115 Golf, contact E, departure, see it. Say contact departure, 1215 Golf. Contact departure, 15 Golf. Don't abbreviate, say 1215 Golf. Okay. Don't get in that habit. All right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we want to go to flight level chair. Oh, Do you right. want to go to autopilot? Huh? Uh, why not? All right, so let's go ahead and switch to departure first. Let's first contact them and then we'll switch to autopilot. So let's say uh, departure, stationary 1215 Golf, 2000 climbing 6500. Yeah. Uh, departure, stationary 1215 Golf, 2000 climbing 6500. Stationary 1215 Golf, pixel departure radar contact. That's it. So now, do we want to follow a heading or a course? Uh, At this point, we can just go direct, right? Yeah. Right. So let's go ahead and do GPS or heading? Uh, GPS. Nav? Nav. All right. Nav? Good. No. Okay. No. Here, let's do this. I didn't activate it yet. Let's do that. No flight director. Don't hit that. Just press nav. Good. There. Uh, oh, that's why. Now, there we go. GPS. Good. Now, with our altitude, do you want to climb, descend, or maintain? I want to climb. Good. But so, I'll change. level change. Set. 93. Actually, do 100 knots. Yeah, just There's down. no obstacles. 100 knots. Good. So now your scoreboard is telling you what? Interpret it to me. Uh, we're on GPS. We're on flight level change. We're going to climb at 100 knots. Cool. Uh, Let's go ahead and do direct enter, enter to make sure. 375 Juliet Big Shield approach. Correct. KFAT is what we want. Uh-huh. Enter, enter, enter. Julie, just Good. If you're there. Make sure you're happy with your thing. Let's do autopilot. Autopilot. Make sure the plane's doing what you want it to do. Shoot. And then we'll take care of the rudder trim. Okay. I got my foot on it. So we're... 375 Julie, right? Yeah, well, then we could go to uh, 30 uh, inches. Oh, shit. 375 Julie, just curious. When did Joshua ship you over to me? And then 2,400 RPM, and then 20 gallons an hour. We will run, we'll run off the right tank for a little bit. It will level off when we, it will even out when we get to cruise. There's 75 Juliet, no worries. I've been having a lot of aircraft try to call me up around the uh, 9, 000, I mean 8,200 peaks. It's so uh, highly inaccurate. Of you, and then it just blocked the antenna so I never get them in time. Go down to 4500 or no, no, Copy that. Near 935, Bravo, Sierra, Basial Approach, Basial Tender 2983, verifying you have good. information, Quebec, uh, Quebec Visual Approach, running 30 right. Good, that's good. Near 5, Bravo, Sierra, How's our rudder trim looking? Let me get some more right rudder. Good. In I'm feeling better than I already took off in Toronto. The what? I'm feeling better than I did when I took off in Toronto. Good. Just wait, by the end of these two days, you'll be like, dude, you can do this in your sleep. Uh, I just, I, something about the wind and all this bullshit going over there freaking freak me out, honestly. Uh, Don't freak out. Don't be a freak. Well, I'm not freaking out. I'm just saying it just, yeah. it was uh, intense, yeah. I, I guess. I hear you. Yeah. I'm with you. I don't know. But I'm with you. We're good, buddy. Uh, okay, so. How's our rudder trim looking? It looks fine. It good. looks good. I, I, since it's a short flight, I think we need to get set up for the next, uh, for Fresno. Yep, so setting up, so how long from now uh, does the computer say we'll get there? 80 miles, so we got quite a way. Uh, ETA, so if we're direct there, it's 17 minutes? 17 minutes? No. That uh, is 5.30 local time arrival. Uh, oh. So go to your flight plan, uh-huh. One more, good. So let's see, it's not on here because it's not in the flight plan. It's a direct to function that I put in, just direct Fresno. Okay. That's what I did, direct so Fresno. 80 miles. And then, you know. 
So we could go yeah, we flight plan, and then we could do yeah, KFAT. Do KFAT. K F A T. F A T. Yeah. Okay. Enter. Uh huh. Enter. No, uh, is that KFAT? No. Do no. It's K CAT. K F A. K F A. F A T. Good. There we go, and then T. There you go. Can I enter. None. None. Hit flight plan. Good. Now go to your flight plan. There okay. it is. Or the auxiliary page. So an hour. Now is this accurate or inaccurate? Uh, it's pretty damn accurate because it's changing. It's inaccurate. Why is it inaccurate? Because where do you think this computer is taking the information to gather a number? From this current ground speed. This ground speed is much slower than what will actually fly the whole way because it's currently our climb ground speed. That's why this is inaccurate. Uh, yeah, okay. Don't believe this until we're leveled out at cruise flying fast. Does that make sense? Yes. This fuel over destination, that's inaccurate too. Why? Because it's snagging this fuel flow. Right. At cruise, we'll lean out a little more. Right. So this lies to you. Here's a rule I want you to always remember. Don't trust the computer on a climb. Does that make sense? Yes. Only fine. trust it when you're in cruise, leveled out, cow flaps are closed, you're flying fast. That's when these numbers become a little more accurate. Does that make sense? Good. Solid. Fiber Sierra, flight heading 170 and descending 3,000 feet to go. There we go. Another trim. Good work. One to go. All right, let's make sure our flaps are up. They're up. Good. Lights. Let's turn the lights off. Good work. Okay, Lance. Uh, those are Solid. off. I got you see how it's on. starting to level out there? This is completely... You got the what? Oh, I had yeah, the beacon on. on. So now uh, we're this right here is completely not accurate when you climb and stuff, so it will level out at uh, cruise. So why is our plan... Uh, let me see. To get all the way out of this... All the way Good, back. all the way to the left. Oh, okay. This is just shows it. Yeah, here. I need to get out a little bit more. There we go. Okay, we go. I need to get back up. I'm too clear. 500 feet to go. There we go. And temperatures look fine. There we go, 400 feet to go. What's Fresno's ground and ATIS? Where, so, where could we plug them into? Uh, the ATIS we want to put in the, over cool. here. So the ATIS is 121.35. Good. 121.35. Solid. 35, and we'll switch that over there. And then ground uh, 121.7. Solid. It's already on there. Good. So we're going to go up the top. Let's see, let's see if we could hear the ATIS at this point. Ah, half hour. So in a little bit, we'll turn it on again. Yeah. Okay. And it'll probably switch. It'll actually switch in 15 minutes. So we'll let's turn it to the north. All right, there's 65. Let's go ahead and go uh, 2300 RPM. And we will lean the mixture. Let's see where peak is at. So here's 540. Let's find the peak. Okay. So keep leaning it. 560, 80, 90, 600, 620, oh. 640. There are five bravos here. Contact tower. Have a good day. 640. So let's go to now go rich to the right. Let's go to 570, uh, 560, 565. That's We're it. Not. There's a lag. You'll keep coming down. That's it. Yeah, we're not very high. That's why. Yeah, you can even go a little. Close the cow flaps. There we go. Good. That should gain about five knots of speed. The cow flaps. Get coordinated. Solid work. There we go. We're on our way. Look at that. Look at that. Easy. 
Easy. Well, remember this flow, six items. Fuel selector both, cowl flaps open, trims set for takeoff. Prop right, mixture full forward, plan on flaps your 10, lights on. Six items. I'll store that. Good. Six items. I should create a little card or something for you. Maybe like right here at the flow. Yeah. I'll stick something on there. And we're on our way. Solid. Copy that. Do you think by the time you get to the Avenal area? Now or that we're that? in our cruise, cow flaps are closed. Everything's ready to go. Now see how long it will take us to get there. Copy that. Uh, traffic at your... Now that's accurate. 35 minutes. It should put us on the ground at 519 local time. It's currently 443. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. 520 local time. 36 minutes. Does that make sense why you want to check this at cruise and not during a yep, climb? Because the computer's stupid. All it does is it snags this ground speed and this distance. I was just making distance. sure you don't forget about it. It doesn't know you're climbing. All it thinks you're doing is just flying slow. Right. Okay, solid. How do we go back to the map? Good. And by the way, just to see your understanding of the avionics, what density altitude are we currently at? Uh, 7, oh yeah, 7,400. Good. So the plane and your body feels like it's uh, a thousand feet higher than it actually is at. Verify landing minutes field. Solid. I'm going to buy two holders. Good right. work. They make some holders. That, For those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, right yeah, here. yeah they make yeah. two nice ones. Okay, yeah, yeah, makes a difference. Okay, 6,500. We're coordinated. Good work. Okay, now we're monitoring the system. 0222. Let's go back to the map. The Good map. work. So now, what did he calculate? How many minutes out should we begin our descent? Ten minutes out. Ten minutes out? Ten. How many chunks of 500 exist between us and TPA? Uh, Here's 75 Julia, turn left heading 220, back just to get ten. you across the arrival corridor. Cool. Yeah. Oh, good ten work. Ten minutes. Yeah. Good. So you see we're 33 minutes out? In 23 minutes we'll begin our descent. Okay. Easy? Yeah. That's it. Here, one five Papa Golf Radar contact, two and one miles is, southeast Meadows Field, make straight in on a three zero right. And this is where we say, at least off of the flight to exist streets are cruising off the two. One one eight point nine or one one eight point nine or one two one five golf. You want to switch? Yes. Yeah, so go to one one eight point nine or switch. No 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 one one eight point nine or one one eight point nine or good. He, so he said my frequency. It's the same person, just different frequencies. So go to 118.9er. Swap it. Uh-huh. And then say, and approach station air, 1215 Golf is with you on 118.9er. Uh, approach uh, 1215 Golf is with you on uh, 118.9. Air 1215 Golf, loud and clear, thanks. That's it. He just told us to switch to another frequency because they could hear us better. Now, should we put in tower right now? Uh, I believe we'll be handed off. You could. you could. Actually, no, not tower. What's the approach frequency we need to contact 20 miles One, out? 132.35. Let's do that. 132.325. Because it's a class Charlie. We don't contact tower. We talk with approach. So he will most likely transfer us off to Fresno approach on 132.35. I like this, bud. Good. This is good. It really just wraps good. your head around the operation. Yeah, absolutely. Every single flight. And how's our rudder trim? We could do a little bit to the left there. There you go. A little bit coordinated. There. Absolutely sound. Look at that. This is uh, so if emergency right now. What what would you? Uh, oh boy, it's field galore. You could just close your eyes and land on a field. A lot of trees, some of them. Yeah, but the, the, I mean, right here, there's a. Uh, there's lots of fuel. This is Air George One contact tower. This is the uh, engine out. Air George One contact tower. Heaven. Thanks. No he shit. Heaven. We could probably glide all the way the fuck over there. Yeah, there's an airport right over here. Yeah. There's an airport. So here. what there's we do is go nearest uh -huh. and see what was closest. And then, then you could on. highlight whichever one you want, and uh -huh. then you could do direct, direct enter enter. Direct enter enter. That's it. Oh, okay. That's it. Perfect. That's it. I'll show you what that looks like. So let's go ahead and sync the heading. Okay. Transition to heading mode. Anytime you want to play with the avionics, go to heading so it doesn't start moving. Okay. Nearest, let's say you want to glide to this one. Uh -huh. Direct, enter, enter. And if we were on, look at that, see what happened? Doesn't. It would turn us left straight to there if we were on GPS. Oh, it but would I do switched. that right now? It would, right now. So you, you, you just go back to uh, GPS mode, right? The but, nav? 
no, no, no. In real life, you wouldn't even go to heading. You would just do what I did, and the plane would automatically start turning because we'd be in GPS. And now, oh, okay. I went to heading, so we keep flying straight. Yeah, yeah, okay. Make sense? I got you. Yeah. And that's how you do it. That's it. So now, flight plan. Press note, direct, enter, enter. Now, one pop -up golf, now we'll there. go back to. What do you F. say? I think it's one pop-up golf, so it's not us. Oh. Seven five, Juliet, resume and there we navigation. Go. Thanks. GPS, direct Fresno, 61.8 miles, 30 minutes away. Okay. Easy? Yep. Solid. That's it. Does that make sense here? Yep. Cool. Good work. I'm learning, dude. Good. I feel like I am. And the system looks good. 29, 23, oh, 17.7. Yeah, really good. And we should show up with 26 now gallons the, of fuel. Now, why is it at... 600 on the peak and it should go to zero. It's not peak. The peak is... Oh, no, no, no. The peak doesn't mean it's zero. The peak, All peak means is what's the highest number you reach when you lean it. So I'm now leaning it. There you go. So 630 is the peak. So we need to go to 555. So right now I'm enriching the mixture to 555. Okay. Actually, no, 575, because 640 was the peak there before. So there you go. Peak means whatever highest TIT you found while leaning, because here's how it works. If you lean the mixture, continue to lean, eventually it, it goes up, the TIT, eventually it starts coming down. Does that make sense? Yeah. So when you reach the peak, you want to enrich in it to come down 75 uh, degrees rich of peak. Okay. So think of it as a mountain. You just want to go to the other side of that mountain, that peak. That's it. All looks good. We're on our way. Now you can hang out. Yeah. Oh, shit. Now you can hang out. 127, 142. No, 120. God damn, we got 21 knots. 21 knots on the nose. On, yeah. 120 ground speed. Cow flaps are closed. You know what, let's, this is the weirdest thing. Let's run the right tank. It's just so crazy. It, it was a bolt the whole time. Nah, let's do that. It's the weirdest thing. So how, and how and you... I forgot, the next time we, anytime we move the tanks, we'll turn on the fuel pump. It's just good practice. No, to leave it off, just when we switch, we'll turn it on. Oh. And then once it's switched, we'll turn it off. Okay. Yeah, not the whole time. What were you saying? So how can you set up a reminder right now to make sure you put the tanks on both again. I thought that tells you. Um, really, there's no, there's nothing that would do that other than just paying attention okay. or putting a timer, okay. a reminder on your iPad. You can just do tanks both. Just write down whatever you want. And then, let's see if we can hear uh, Fresno's ATIS. Yeah. Do we want to listen on Two. Fresno Terra Information, Echo Time 2253, Zulu Observation, Wind at 320 at 15, Gust 20, Visibility 10, Sky Condition 8000 scattered, 13000 scattered, Temperature 27, Dew Point minus 01, Altimeter 2985, Landing and Departing Room 290 right, 290 left, Visual Approach in use. Notice 2 Airmen, Bot 14 East, out of service until further notice. 5G note of effect for Fresno University Airport for further information, contact flight service. Ground control and clearance delivery are combined on 121.7. Advise on this contact. You have information echo. Right, echo. Fresno Tower, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, one, zero miles, up direction 7,500 at Diamond Star. That was for us. What do you say? I don't know. Ask him to repeat. Uh, repeat one, five, uh, one, two, one, five, oh. Do you mind repeating one, two, one, five, golf? Do you mind me uh, repeating one, two, one, five, golf? Or one two one five golf traffic twelve o'clock one zero miles off direction seven thousand five hundred diamond star. Say looking for traffic one two one five golf. Looking for traffic one two one five golf. That was a traffic alert. So he's just giving us a heads up that there's traffic opposite direction, diamond star. Twelve o'clock he said right. So we'll see uh, when we can see them. Twelve o'clock. Yeah, it's straight ahead opposite direction. I don't see him on here yet. Yeah. It's all good. So how do we... Uh, uh, good. What, did you hit the red button there? Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, 
trying to get this thing up a little bit more. I do like this a lot better, though. I need to just get it figured out where I'm at. But. Good. You'll get used to it. It's just a matter of doing it. There's the traffic. So we'll keep an eye out for them. We will keep an eye out for them. Approach time at 216 Delta Golf with your 7,500. So that's them right there. 216 Delta Golf, Big Shield Approach, Big Shield Delta Center, 2982. Traffic 12 o'clock. He's telling him about us. Now. Obstruction 6,500, station air. Station air. 2982 and looking for traffic 6 Delta Golf. Let's see if you can see the traffic. They should be off the left hand side. Oh. Opposite direction, 1,000 feet above us. Let's see if we can spot them. And now. Oh, I don't know, I got the traffic on this. The what? I have the traffic on it. I have the you have the what? Oh, I need to sink this thing in my. Near one time you traffic 12 o'clock, five miles. Looking for traffic? Looking for traffic, one, two, one, five, so. Or six Delta Golf, traffic 12 o'clock, five miles. Still, so, still so Delta Golf, got him on the box, but uh, not visual looking. Oh, there he is, right there. Right there, another bird. Traffic inside? Ah, uh -huh, you can say traffic inside, one five golf. One two one five golf. Traffic in sight, one two one five golf. For one two one five golf, Roger, contact resident approach, one three two point three five. One three two point three five zero one two one five golf. Good. There's six Delta golf, traffic has you in sight at eleven o'clock. I'll say approach one. Yep, say uh, approach station air 1215 golf level 6500 and we have information what? Quebec. Echo. Approach station air 1215 golf level at 6500 with information. Uh, Echo. Station air 1215 golf, Fresno approach, good evening, make straight in, runway 29 or left. Left. Straight in, make straight in, two nine or left. Straight in, two nine or left. One two one five golf. Good. Okay, nine Delta Golf. They're coming up here uh, eleven o'clock and two miles now, four thousand five hundred. That's not, not us. Not us. Insight, nine Delta Golf. So he said, make okay, straight in for two nine or left. Uh, Roger, uh, cancel the altitude restriction. Radar service terminated. Straight in for two nine or left. Wrong one. How do you delete this? Hold on. Italian three five zero. Traffic no factor. Three five zero. So check this out, what we'll do. He said straight in for 2 or left, check it out. Let's go ahead and sync the heading, transition to heading mode. Good, heading, good. Now procedures, let's load straight in, uh, visual approach for 2 or left. Select approach, scroll down. No, big now, big now, big now. Uh, right, right here, big now. Oh. Good, all the way down, visual 2 or left. Good, enter. And then go straight, so big knob, scroll down, good, enter. And then all the way down, right. Uh, big knob all the way to the right, activate, good, enter. And then okay, enter. Good, flight plan to get rid of this, good. Now if you zoom out, it's right there. So now, let's go ahead and do this, look. Direct over to the straight in waypoint, now back to GPS nav. Good, that's it. Now, could, what about setting uh, the VNAV to that straight? So check this out, we could do that. Flight plan, because we loaded a visual approach, it automatically t loads the altitude we should be at at this waypoint. All right, so lower so the So check board. this out. Let's lower the, f actually before we do that, let's go ahead and set 500 feet a minute. So highlight, big knob, highlight this. This right here. Small knob, move one to the left, or right, 500, good, enter. Enter. Good. It's telling us top of descent in eight minutes. Hit flight plan to get rid of this whole page. Now lower the floor. Good. And we need to engage VNAV. So the VPath is now in uh, standby. So right now, top of descent, you see it populated at top of descent right there. If you look over here, it's right there. And we'll reach this waypoint at 1360. 
on our way into the runway and it should be perfect for landing. <laughs> I saw that on the video. There you go. Look at that. Yeah. So now the plane should start descending on its own right over here at the top of the So you do a straight in, it reaches that vector that's yeah. there. A straight in is a made up waypoint for the on the final approach course. Right. Exactly. Make sense? Yes, sir. Easy. Good work. Absolutely. Oh, look at this big city. What city is this? Oh, uh, not sure. There's the Saharas. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah. Crazy. So that's it. There. Put that. So it's like this. Put this arrow towards the north. To the north. So two nine right. So we need to go to the right a little bit to that vector. We're we're going to that vector, right? We're going to the straight in. Uh, yeah, made up waypoint. Absolutely, absolutely, folks. Hello, how are you? How long is two nine left runway? Two nine left is eight thousand. Cool. Feet. Now on the sheet, we plan on making a right turn off the runway. Guess what we'll make now? I'm going to make it left hand. Good. So start thinking of what's the possible taxi route you'll get for taxi back to 2-9 or left. Uh, I mean, I would think Bravo 10 to Bravo. To 2-9 or left. To 2-9 or left. Cool. Good. We're thinking. 2-9 or left run up is right here. Right there, yeah. Solid. Good work. So you see, in real life, things change, right? Yes. We plan on 2-9 or right. Good job. Absolutely solid. Good work. Alexa from the flight desk cat speaking. Uh, should begin our descent to uh, Fresno in about uh, five minutes or so. Uh, computer showing we should have you on the ground about uh, 15 minutes and uh, at the gate just a few minutes after that. Phoenix up, up and about to use the lavatories or anything out of the uh, overhead bins. This might be a good time to go to do so. Once we start down, the seatbelt sign will be coming back on for the remainder of the flight. And we ask that you remain in your seats with your seatbelt securely fastened voucher until we uh, reach the gate. On behalf of all of us here at uh, Gilbark Air, we sure do appreciate you flying with us this afternoon. And we hope seeing you again on a future flight here real soon. Thanks for both of us up front, and uh, press us home, welcome home. And if you're continuing, continuing on to your final destination, we wish you a safe travels ahead. Thanks so much. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the airlines. This is like a mini airline. You know what I mean? Yeah, you've been doing that a lot. <laughs> wow. This is like a mini airline. Look at you. Look at you in control, Robbie. Look at you right at home. You're right at home. You know exactly what's going on. You Mentally, you know what's going on. And you're flying into a Charlie. Are you nervous? Not at all. No. Not at all. I just need to get better on these radios and I'll be, I'll get it. Here's what I want you to do on the radio. Project your voice more. Project your voice more. Imagine you're talking to, uh, I don't know who. Just project your voice more. When they tell you something, repeat it back. Repeat it back. That's it. I'm trying to see why it's not loading up to that waypoint. Because the, the, the waypoint has nothing to do with this. The waypoint doesn't translate into Garmin or Ford Flight. Oh, it's okay. just uh, G1000. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's that lake over there. I guess the hillside. Oh, that's it. Yeah. yeah, look at that. How many miles out are we from uh, Fresno? Fresno. I want your eyes to look right over here. Oh, okay. Oh, because we're going straight. Okay. Actually, no, I'm sorry. This right here is to the next waypoint. So you, you were right. Let's go into the actual, fl no, here. Actual flight plan, that's the, that's the total number. So we're currently 33 and a half miles out. 15 and a half minutes left to go. We should be on the ground there at what time? Uh, 1770. 17 minutes past the hour, right? It's currently one five oh two. Okay. Solid. Easy. Good work. Robbie, this is easy stuff. This is why I'm saying we should it's fun up here. It's fun. Oh it's just yeah, fun. yeah. I did if I had the radios down more I'd be a lot it's more fun. fun. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing great. Good work. Thanks, man. I just it's smart practice. Good work. Top of descent is in how long? Uh, our next way is 15 minutes. Or How would you find out where top of descent is? Hit flight plan. And there it is. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Three minutes. Three minutes. Good. Let's see if it's going to do it. Good. It will do it as long as your floor is lowered. We have V-Path and ARM. 
and we set a feet per minute and an altitude on our waypoint. Those four things in existence, the plane will lower the nose and do the rest. Absolutely solid. Absolutely solid. Man, that's all open field. No wonder they want to do all this. There's like four solar projects they want to do over in this area. Oh yeah, it's all open. Uh, all open. All open. Could you do it out of Trona? What? Solar? That's what I'm doing. I'm doing. So you don't only have to stay local there. Yeah, I'm doing a couple more, and then a couple more in Richcrest. I'm trying to get going. Nice. Yeah, so I don't want to travel all this way. Okay, we don't need uh, so we have. They share another Julia Jolie Roger. We don't need what? We're on approach. He's already told us. We're on the road. We could put Tower on the standby of Com One because he will hand us off to Tower. Uh, 118.2. Cool. So we're thinking ahead, right? We're yeah. staying ahead of the airplane. We're not falling behind it. Because we know what's coming. Nothing is going to shock us. Yeah. We know how this thing works. We know how this thing works. Look at you. So, so this is not going to go straight, right? Our, he, said, he, make, he said make straight in. So this is basically what... Vertical the, track. Look at that. We're one minute out. We're down to 1316. We're going to go down a little bit more, huh? Yeah, if you lower the floor a little more, you'll see... There you go. It goes to 1360. Okay. Go a little more to the right with the floor. There's 1360. Anytime you have an actual number in there, it, the floor will automatically populate that. Okay. And there we go. Once this triangle touches the center... The V-pass should switch to green, the nose should drop, and then we'll begin our descent. It's that simple. Here's our top of descent. Flight okay. plan, 30 seconds. Okay. Yeah, look at this. Um, actually, look at this. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Look at that. Once we reach top of descent, the nose should come down. Coming up, 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 coming up. Coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. And look at this magic. Coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. V pass switch to green. Nose is dropping and we will slide down the slide. You see our track vector right there? It's coming down to match that. And there we are. Zero contact approach, 119.6. How cool is that? 119.6, thanks for your help, 350. How easy is that? Now what I want you to do is get on with approach and say approach station air 1215 golf has be, uh, or we're beginning our descent for Fresno. Uh, Just fill them in, give them a heads up what we're doing. Approach station air 1215 golf is beginning our descent into Fresno. Good. We'll just say Roger. Let's call the approach taken. Speak stronger, say uh, approach station air 1215 golf. Uh, approach station air 1215 golf is beginning the descent into Fresno. Station 15 Golf, Roger. Good. We just filled him in, right? We asked him to hold our hand. Flight following? He's got 550. Yeah, it, it will fluctuate because our ground speed's higher. So it will produce whatever descent rate is necessary in order to get us to this waypoint at that altitude. Oh, okay. So the faster the ground speed, it needs to go steeper. <laughs> oh, that's falling. Yeah, folks in the fuck So, Captain speaking, just begin our descent into the uh, Fresno area. Seafold signs coming back on now for our arrival. If you're up and about, return to your seats, please, and pass your seatbelts for the duration of the flight. Should have you to the ground about uh, 10 minutes. Weather in Fresno. Uh, winds are light out of the southeast. Beautiful 76 degees and uh, skies clear. Thanks again for flying with us this afternoon, nine, and uh, we'll see you again uh, on a real, uh, real soon on another flight uh, here at. <laughs> Position <laughs> 559 Road, Tell Fox, our present departure radar contact for traffic maintained 4,000, turn left direct past Robles. 4,000 left turn past Robles. You see the banana? Yeah, Look there. at that, we're going to reach it right there. And that's TPA? Not TPA, that's Division where Road, Fox, That's Fox, where Fox, we, Fox, we should be at South this waypoint on our final approach course in order, in order to be right on glide path with the diamond yeah, in the center. Okay. Okay. So it'll be a perfect Nine altitude. Nine Robbie, absolutely phenomenal work. Let's go ahead and pull up our descent checklist on your uh, checklist. There it is. Crew before landing. Uh, 
903 on Fox Rough South 9 site, uh, about 10 o'clock. So there's no... Uh, uh, the Fox, we maintain visual separation from the north scaling. We maintain 10,000. Cool. Okay, we need to add it. Maintain 10,000. We'll do it as a... We'll come up with a whole new one of those together. In route. And then descent. Good. I think once I get good with this, I'll be fine. Uh-huh, yeah. yeah. So power, we go. 20 inches is good. And by the way, we're done with ATIS, right? Yeah. So let's put ground in COM2 active so it's ready for us. Does that make sense? Yep. Good. Okay, ground. It's in there. We just need to put it, switch it to Petition the active. Nine, eight, Fox, have a good flight. Contact Oakland Center 123.8. 23, 8, uh, 9, what's up, Ground, 1, 2, 1, 1, 7, yeah. Good, solid. So now it's ready for us. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. Okay, checklist, we got the power, that's going. Make sure we're fine right now, huh? Oh, that's good, yeah. Uh, cal faster closed. Our altimeter, we got that set. Uh, Stamina altimeter. Altitude select, we got that. Soft keys. Review and brief. Okay. Oh, shit. Ooh, look at that. Uh, so if we do a checklist, right. you'll remember it. Okay, both, right? Uh huh. Man, see, that? I didn't even forget about that. Okay, wings as desired, flaps. You can just skip all through that. That's talking about our closer to the airport. And there's before landing. We'll do that in a little bit. So hit exit. Good. Easy. This is easy stuff, Robbie. Good work. Solid. Pull, pull power back a little bit more. Fresno approach. Kodiak 1322 Tango. Kodiak. It's Kodiak. Well, that'll be us soon. Kodiak 1322 Tango. Fresno approach. Fresno altimeter 2983. Sarah Quest. 2982 Tango. Ski Oscar Delta India Slant Golf. Uh, 20 south. Don't adjust um, it. What was the altimeter setting at the airport when you listen to the ATIS? Uh, you don't know where this other plane is at. Oh. Because the approach talks with many planes. Okay. So get on with the approach and say, uh, what's the altimeter setting at Fresno? Approach station at 1215 Golf, looking for altimeter at Fresno. Kodiak 22 Tango Squawk 4572. 4572 Tango. Station 15 Golf, Fresno altimeter 2983. Okay. 2983, 1215 Golf. Cool. 2983. So at least Could you confirm. Tango, but, contact, but, but you don't know who approach is talking to and where, so you want to always make sure. Good job, 2983. Solid. Tango looking. You can keep the power at 20. Just keep the power at 20. Fresno approach, Hall Tanker 4037 Sierra. Could even give it one of these because we're descending into the Tanker 40370 Fresno approach, Fresno altimeter 29083 request. And look at that. 370 with Fresno. See Fox the airport Shirai. straight ahead of us? 16 oh. to the east, inbound yeah, from the Tanker Base. Yeah. Uh huh. Hello, Tanker 370, radar contact, yeah. make approach, direct the Tanker Base, squad 0441. Direct to the Tanker Base 0441. Good day, 22 Tango, traffic no factor. 22 Tango. Good, that's cool. Actually, you know what? Let, we should, yeah, let's get some fuel here at Fresno. Yeah. Yep. For peace of mind. Yes. Look at that. So now when it will switch us to tower, guess what? Let's press this back up so the green box surrounds that. Good. When he switches us to tower, he says contact tower. All we need to do is do that. Boom. Because we already have 118.2 there. We're staying ahead of the airplane. Easy? Solid. Yep, there's the airport. I wanted to start seeing what airports look like from the air. And this is Fresno, California. So, so we're at 2 or left, right? Uh huh. Okay. Where's fuel? Any self serve fuel on the field? Aviation. It's going to be about that general aviation parking. 
apron aviation. What are some FBOs? Do you see an FBO on there? Let's see. Fresno. Station 15 Golf, contact tower 118.2. 118.2, uh, 1215 Golf. Good. Can I get a whole tower? Yeah, so we'll say Fresno Tower, Station Air 1215 Golf, straight in 29 or left. Fresno Tower, Station Air 1215 Golf, straight in 29 or left. Station Air 1215 Golf, Fresno Tower, wind 290, 19 gust 23, runway 29 or left, clear to land. Runway 29 or left, clear to land, 1215. Yeah, Fresno left. Tower, hello, finger 37, Sierra. Right now? So much clear to land, 29 or left, 1215 Golf. Hello, thank you. 37 CR Fresno Tower, wind 30018, gust 23, landing at the Tinker Base will be at your own risk. Uh, 37 CR. For us, looks like signature is cheaper. Let's go to signature. Okay. For So when they say safe parking, say signature. Okay. So we'll roll all the way to the end or 29 left, and it'll be off the left hand side. Cool. Signature. Power Eagle is going to clear the north. Traffic one, Roger, radar So someone stepped on you before, whenever there's an opening in the radio, just get back on and say uh, Fresno Tower, Station Air, 1215, just confirming, 29 or left, clear to land. Over to Parker, we'll see you 187 Tango. Yeah, he's like clear to land. But I want to make sure he heard you repeat it. So just say, just say 29 or left, clear to land, 1215, Golf. 29 or left, clear to land, 1215, Golf. Good. Number 1215, Golf, Aver, thank you. Cool. That's it. You just repeated it for the recording. Uh, Solid. Good job. See the airport? Yep. I want to show you how the autopilot will do everything for us. Go ahead and press approach. See what that did? Glide path? It put that on standby. See the diamond is above us? Once yep. the diamond touches the center, the plane will descend to the runway. So now we need to do nothing. The plane will take us all the way to the runway. All we need to do is control our power and flaps. Let's turn all of our lights on. Let's slow to 100 knots. That's good right there for now. We'll slow down in a moment. Cow flaps open. Cow good. Flaps open. Let's go prop full forward. Mixture forward. Good. That's good. Right what there. 10 degrees in. And once the speed is under 110 Four. knots, we'll go ahead and go flaps one, uh, flaps 10 degrees. Oh, I thought it was 140. No, no, that's fine, but we could do it now, oh, but the right. faster we introduce flaps, the bigger balloon. Yeah, yeah, I got you. So we want to be a little slow. So this is fine now. You could go flaps 10. Good. Good. 1360 coming up. The plane will do everything. I want to show you how the plane will turn and take us all the way to the runway. That's fucking awesome. Yep. Let's go flaps 20. Good, and we'll land with flaps 20, because okay. we don't want to go full flaps of dust. So now the plane will turn here in a second. See to the airport right there? Uh-huh. Cool. Plane will turn on its own. There it is. Once this diamond touches the center, we will go ahead and the plane will descend all the way to the runway. Plane is turning. There's two niner left. Good. This is fine. Altitude is good. The diamond's coming in in a moment. Glide path is on standby. I want you to maintain 75 knots with power. Okay. 75 knots with power. The plane will take care of everything else. The plane will begin descending here on its own towards the runway. And look at that. Touch the center. You see glide path? Nose is coming down on its own. You see that? Wow. Maintain 75 knots with power. And we're going all the way to the runway. Isn't that crazy? This is crazy. Uh-huh. And that's what knowing your avionics looks like. And that's where you'll get to. Uh, yeah. Uh, good. Everything's good. Fuel selectors both. Cal flaps are cl uh, open. Flaps are 20. Prop mixture full forward. Lights are all on. Runway in sight. Runway's cleared. We are clear to land. We did repeat that back. We're good to go. We'll roll down all the way to the end and make a left off the runway. Easy? Yep. Solid. Good job. Whenever you want to, whenever you feel like it, you could disconnect autopilot and we could just fly towards the road. And welcome to Fresno. <coughs> 
Nice and green here. Yeah, dude. So the wind is pretty much straight down the pipe, not really any crosswind. Let's go ahead and disconnect autopilot because I want to hand fly a little bit. And there we go. 75 knots. Actually, 80 knots. Let's do 80 knots. Let's come more to the right. Yeah. I'll show you what that sight picture should look like. More to the right. Good. Nice work. And no rush with anything. We'll roll all the way down to the end of the runway. Okay. So you have nothing but time. Let's reduce a little power and lower the nose. We're a little fast and high. Good. Good. Nice and easy. Add a little power. Good. Come down to the runway. A touch of right rudder and left aileron. Right rudder, left aileron. Good. Power out. Less right rudder. And we'll just hold it right over here. Yeah, that's there the tower. Skylight 3. Skylight 3, Fresno Tower. And turn. we're down. Okay, yeah, we're lifting uh, that nose uh, off the ground. Going back to just like that. Skylight See this? 3, Fresno yeah. Tower. Roger. So I right to get comfortable with doing this. You don't want that nose on the ground. Now, Willie, that's still in the air. Skylight 3, radar contact. Now it's on the ground. But to land, speed you want to get comfortable with that pitch attitude. Good job. Yeah, that wasn't that bad. Good. Golf. Turn left to your discretion, contact ground. Left to our discretion, contact ground. One, two, one, five, golf. Cool. Go. So let's go ahead. Let's turn left on Bravo 8. So let's keep rolling. Here's Bravo 6. Bravo 8 is right here. Okay. Good work. Yeah, that felt pretty good, dude. Welcome I, to I felt like a... Uh, Good. There you go. Let's make a left on Bravo 8. Good job. Solid. Good. We can lean the mixture. Good. There we go. We'll make sure our tail is clear of the runway. I like that one. Fresno. There we go. Make sure the tail. So a little more, 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 more. That's good. And now we will switch to ground, which is just this number right here. Just that button. Good, because we're already on ground, right? We put that on the active. So now we will say Fresno Ground Station 1215 Golf is clear of runway. 29 left. On Bravo 8. Request taxi to signature. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Fresno ground station area one two one five golf clear runway two nine left uh, at Bravo eight ready for detect. Request taxi to signature. One five golf Fresno ground uh, signature taxi via Bravo Bravo eleven. Bravo Bravo eleven one two one five golf. See that? Good. So we'll make a right here on Bravo and then Bravo eleven signature is right over there. Easy work. Better than Vegasville. <laughs> It'll get better every single time, Robbie. Every single time, you'll get much better. That's what it's about. It's just a matter of doing it. I'm proud of you, man. Thank you, bud. Proud of you. Solid. Dude, that fucking glide pass is shit. Is that amazing, that technology? It takes you all the way to the runway. <laughs> At the VNAV, it was perfect. God, dude. <laughs> uh, there's, yeah. You could do all this at night and not touch a mountain because you have the visual situational display. You have everything. Right. Everything. As long as you know to use, it's not knowing to use your avionics that gets people in trouble. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm so glad you're so good at it. Because I mean, you'll get it down. Not having having all this information and not, and not knowing how to use, use it. it. Right. Fuck, exactly. You'd be crazy. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of money. 
There's Bravo 10, Bravo 11's coming up. See it? You see signature yeah. right there on the hangar of the building? Yeah. That's signature, so we'll make a left on Bravo 11. Look at you taxiing at an unfamiliar airport. Remember, Robbie, an airport is an airport is an airport yeah. is an airport is an airport is an airport. You could fly right now in New York. It's the same thing. Tower, approach, signature, taxi, it's the same thing. Let's make a left on Bravo. Bravo 11. Clear right. There we go. And then we could take Bravo 11 all the way in. Clear right, clear left. Clear right, clear left. Good work. Right, right next to the... And then, let's see, typically they have someone come out and tell us where to park, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, let's go over here to the right right now. Oh, they got an Epic over there. Oh, there's a field truck coming. Oh, let's see. Right in between them both? Yeah, we should, uh, we should, yeah, we should have room between them, yep. Let's go a little more to the right, make sure your wing is clear over there. Yep. And let's go ahead and more, and go right in the center here. Perfect. Good. You're clear here, that's good. And nose wheel straight. There we go, that's good. Straight down. Solid, and there's someone coming. Let's just make sure that we're good here with him before we shut down. Honk the horn. <laughs> let's see if, is this good here? Oh, solid. All right, All right let's do shut down. Shut good work. Down. Shut down, parking brake is set. Okay, throttle goes to idle. Let's turn this off, let's turn the AC off. Yeah, AC off. Hold it down, no, hold it down. Good. Okay, AC's off, throttle off, all eight's off. Those are off, off, Good, off. good. Avionics one, two, went to the last. Uh, Avionics one, two, off, good. 